Thursday, 16th August, and this is Top Stories by Rooster News. Former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee has been put on life support system as his health deteriorated late on August 15th, the All India Institute of Medical Sciences said in a statement. Former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee has been admitted for the last nine weeks at AIIMS. Unfortunately, his condition has worsened over the past 24 hours. His condition is critical and he is on life support system. Arti Veej, chairperson, Media and Protocol Division of the AIIMS, said in a release on August 15th. Late last evening, Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited the AIIMS to inquire about Mr. Vajpayee's condition. After Mr. Modi, Railway Minister Piyush Goyal and BJP MP Meenakshi Lekhi also paid a visit. The death toll in Kerala has climbed to 67 as the state is reeling under one of the worst floods in history. Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan confirmed that the rain fury claimed 25 lives on Wednesday. More than 1.5 lakh people have been lodged in relief across the state, Vijayan said, adding that the heavy rains would continue for some more days, further worsening the situation. For the first time in history, the state has opened 35 of its 39 dams. Train services have been disrupted and road transport services are in disarray with stretches of roads coming under water. Officials said that a holiday has been declared for educational institutions in all districts barring Kasaragod, while colleges and universities have postponed exams. As the situation became grave, the state government sought the help of more teams of Army personnel, National Disaster Response Force and Army Engineering. Prime Minister Modi has asked the Defence Ministry to further step up relief and rescue operations across the state. Kaganyan, the Human Space Flight Programme, green flagged and set for 2022 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, is highly doable, Chairman of the Indian Space Research Organisation K. Shivan said. V. R. Lalitambika, a specialist in advanced launcher technologies, will helm the project as director of the Human Space Flight Project. The mission is estimated to cost Rs 9,000 crore. Most of the critical technologies and hardware required for the project are ready or have been demonstrated by its centers. ISRO would now stitch them up into a complete project and present a comprehensive project report to get a formal approval of the government, Dr. Sivan said. When it achieves the mission, India will be the fourth nation to circle Earth after Soviets, the Americans and the Chinese. In 1984, India's first astronaut wing commander, retired Rakesh Sharma, orbited Earth as part of a Soviet mission. A priceless 12th century bronze Buddha statue that was stolen from Bihar 57 years ago has been returned by British police to the Indian High Commission in London. The statue that was stolen from the Archaeological Survey of India, Site Museum in Nalanda, along with 13 others in 1961, was identified at a trade fair in London in March this year by Linda Albertson of the Association for Research into Crimes Against Art and Vijay Kumar of the India Pride Project, a volunteer-based crowdsource project that works to track down and return stolen heritage. In recent years, many artifacts have been returned to India from abroad. In 2016, over 200 stolen artifacts were returned by the US during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit. Australia returned three sculptures, including a 3rd century rock carving. This year, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York said it would return a stone sculpture of Durga Mahishasura Mardini from Bejnath Temple in Himachal Pradesh and the head of a deity from the Nagarjun Konda Museum in Andhra Pradesh. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from key metros.
In Delhi, petrol is sold for 77.10 rupees per litre and diesel for 68.54 rupees per litre. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 80.09 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.39 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 80.04 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.35 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 84.54 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.76 rupees per litre.